hello there. If you're somebody who does overhead work, like you press overhead, you do some Olympic weightlifting, maybe you're doing some pull-ups, it's really worthwhile for you to know how much actual shoulder flexion you have. I'm not just talking about flexing your shoulder muscles, I'm talking about your overhead position, which is called shoulder flexion. So if you happen to be lacking shoulder flexion and you're doing overhead stuff or things where you're hanging with all your body weight, it's really, really demanding on your shoulder. Sometimes that puts too much stress on the shoulder and gets them really pissed off, or that puts a lot of stress in your back. One thing that is common, if I don't have shoulder flexion, I may reach overhead. My only option to get overhead is to arch my back. That's no good, that's gonna cause low back stuff. We wanna make our shoulder do as much shoulder stuff as possible without relying on another joint to help. So this is a really easy test. You're just gonna lay on your back. I'm gonna show you from an angle here so you can see more easily. Now what you're gonna do is just Lay on the floor, get your whole back pressed down, your sacrum, your low back, your upper back, your neck, and just pay close attention to that sensation of how much contact you have, because we're gonna try to not change that. Reach your arms up overhead, we're gonna keep the elbows locked, shoulder width apart, and then you're gonna bring your arms straight back overhead. And you're gonna go until you either feel some change in your back, like you start to lift the low back away, really anywhere. If you can, see if you can just get your thumbs to touch. Okay, if you can get your thumbs down, now let's see if we can still stay shoulder width apart, Try to get the backs of the hands down. Ideally, if you're doing overhead stuff, we wanna be able to get the whole back of the hand and arm in the floor without having to move any of our back to get into that position or without having the hands go wide. Now, the, the last one to check, which is worthwhile, is once you're in that position, can you generate force pushing through the backs of your hands? You wanna be able to ideally push through the backs of your hands into the floor and that at least is gonna be a good indication that if you're doing stuff all the way up in shoulder flexion, hanging, doing pull-ups, doing pressing overhead, that your shoulders are doing all of the stuff that they're supposed to and not relying on your spine to help out. If you don't have that, a really good option is just to start doing stuff that's not in that very end range of your shoulder flexion or beyond it, right? So if this is my active range, if I go hang on the bar, I will get my arms into that position, but that's not gonna be any good for my shoulder. So the way that we accommodate that is by Maybe instead of overhead pressing, do some incline bench press. Do some pull-ups where your feet are on the ground and you're letting your hips stay forward. So we're working in that range that we have where we can add in additional work to build that shoulder flexion and make it better. All right, thanks.